Hello everybody and welcome to Tiger Tales, a place where you'll find stories and fan fiction written and read to you by your host, me, Ty Tiger. Today we're diving into a brand new Parent storyline and following suit from my Parent Street Foundation story, where all the rangers will be power sets you've already seen but the next generation. But this time there's a big twist. The three Power Ranger teams I have that play along the whole line of the next generation of rangers all exist in Universe 113. However, this takes place in Power Rangers Universe 19, an already established universe by my Parabatai Cosplay Dude 67. So make sure you check out Power Rangers Universe 19, the podcast, and make sure you go check out all the other storylines. There's the Ultra Rangers, Power Rangers Cyberforce, Power Rangers Cyberforce, and much, much more. This story revolves around Winston, a Red Time Force Ranger in the year 3002. He has to take down Donzo, the grandson to Doggy Kruger. They're both at war in the cosmic fields, and things go terribly wrong. But, by the end, you'll see both of them have their plans. So, let's dive in. Power Rangers Next Horizons Chapter 1 Back in Time to the beginning. In the year 3002, Winston sped down the motorway heading for the cosmic field, a field that displayed arrays of time cosmic rays. Winston, stand down! This is a direct order! You're too close to this one! His commanding officer barked through his communicator. Winston shook his head, ignoring his commanding officer. He slammed his foot on the gas pedal and the car sped further into the cosmic field. Winston! You follow Danzo into those fields, we cannot follow you. Those fields are sparking right now. You get caught in that. We have no idea what time period you can be thrown into. His commanding officer barked. Winston looked down at his wrist, his chronomorpher shining in the moonlight. I gotta get Danzo. Better me than anyone else. Winston snapped. But the time cosmic energy. What if you're through through time? His commanding officer asked. I'll just have to deal with it, won't I? Besides, Danzo has a box of stolen morphers. He could do very dangerous things right now, Winston replied. Winston disconnected the communicator and swerved the car to a halt. He climbed out and ran deeper into the fields until he caught up with Danzo. He stood there with the box of stolen morphers in hand. Danzo, please, come back. It's not safe here, Winston called out. (laughs) Where is safe? What do you mean? You arrested me! You put me in this position! Danzo barked. The black and white Syrian stood there and a flash of time energy exploded behind him, erupting the ground. This isn't safe, Danzo! Come on! Winston called out. Stop pretending like you care! Danzo roared. I do care! You are one of the great ones! You're the grandson of the legendary Doggy Kruger, and you decided to be friends with me, a nobody. We grew up like brothers, and you threw it all away. Not me, Winston growled. Danzo pulled out a blast and aimed it at Winston. He fired it several times. Winston pulled his sleeve up and revealed his chronomorpher. Turn four, turn force, Winston called out. He crossed his arms and pressed his morpher, and in a flash of red, he morphed into the red Time Force Ranger. The Red Ranger ran at Danzo, who kept firing at him, the laser blast striking the Red Ranger. Then the Red Ranger swung a foot and kicked the blaster out of his hand. Then he kicked him in the chest. He tried to wrestle the box of stolen morphers out of his hand, but Danzo kept a good grip on them. They both struggled. Then a time energy bolt erupted from the sky and struck the two, sending them through time. Are you looking for a new holiday destination? Then look no further than Ranger Travels. Here at Ranger Travels, we will take you to the most exotic places on one continent. Take Angel Grove, for example. Want to ski? Then take a trip to our frozen wasteland. Fancy a desert walk? Then visit our Sahara area. And are you a budding volcanologist? Then check out our active volcano. It erupts quite regularly. Book your new adventure with Ranger Travels. Ranger Travels is not responsible for destruction of property while on your holiday. If there is a monster attack, Rangers will respond. T's and C's apply. Winston opened his eyes, and he looked around. He was laying on the middle of a street. 
He sat up and realised that he had demorphed. He then looked around and noticed the basic buildings and vehicles. He pulled out his communicator disc and activated it, and a hologram appeared, showing his assistant back in 3002. What year am I in? Winston asked. Uh, you have been thrown into the year 2024, Daisy told him. Right, what about Donzo? Winston asked. Donzo's also in the same time period, but his exact location is very unknown, Daisy told him. Winston stood and wobbled over to a bench. He sat down and looked down at the hologram. Guessing the commander ain't happy with me, Winston guessed. His language was not clean, Daisy replied. Will my morpher work here? Winston asked her. Yes, and the other stolen morphers are all active as well, Daisy stated. Winston had completely forgot about that. He looked around his surroundings. I'll get back to you on those, Winston nodded. Keep me posted, boss. Daisy said, then the hologram faded away. Winston stood and then journeyed throughout the town. He saw a sign that said Silver Hills. Time for strangers already here. I've got to be careful, Winston stated. Then he heard people screaming. He looked around and saw everyone running away from something. Winston ran towards the source of everyone's fear and he ran into a monster firing energy blasts all over a place. I have to do something. A ranger's duty is never over, Winston muttered. He then morphed and ran at the monster, summoning one of his chronosabers. He dived in and slashed the monster several times. And who are you? The monster growled. Huh, I'm new in town, the red ranger snapped back. They started throwing attacks at one another. The monster fired from his wrist cannon, which hit the red ranger. He was sent flying back and crashed onto a car. He dropped to the ground, he rolled over and pulled himself up. He then noticed the box of lost morphers. He grabbed it and stood up. Then suddenly the monster aimed his wrist cannon and fired once again. Before he could fire, several cars came zooming in and the Silver Guardians climbed out. They pulled out their blasters and aimed them. We are the Silver Guardians. You're under arrest, the leader called out. The monster was restrained and the Silver Guardian leader approached the Red Ranger. Name's Eric. Nice to meet you, the leader stated. The Red Ranger demorphed and shook Eric's hand. Winston... Guessing my boss already contacted your boss, Winston replied. That he did. We did ha have a place for you to crash. Whilst well, you deal with this Danzo and his army, Eric told him. Well, well, what do you mean army? Danzo doesn't have an army, Winston questioned. Oh yeah, should have mentioned uh, when you turned up about 30 min minutes ago. Danzo's been here for five months already, Eric stated. Winston stood there stunned. Danzo had been in the year 2024 for five months and had made himself an army to boot. Danzo wanted the box of morphers, but it was in Winston's hand, so it wasn't there yet. Danzo was ready to make war, to make a statement. I'm the reason he's here. I'll have to deal with him and his army, Winston told Eric. Here is your new home for now. If you need me, let me know, Eric told him, handing him an address card. You ain't sticking around? Winston asked. Well, my partner is off getting married and I have other problems, Eric sighed. Winston nodded and then Eric and the Silver Guardians loaded up and drove off. Winston found his new base, an old theatre that had shut down. Winston made himself a home. He kept the box of morphers close by. He set himself up and then returned to the box. He opened it and looked inside and there before him were several morphers. Uh, Daisy, you said these are active, right? Winston asked as he pulled out his communicator disc and the hologram appeared, showing Daisy. Uh, yes, boss, Daisy replied. I think I have an idea, Winston stated with a grin. Do I want to ask? Daisy asked. Well, if Danza wants to make an army, then so will I, Winston said, looking down at the morphers. Sir, those morphers have not been registered for use and haven't been used in our time for a very long time. They're out of the time vault illegally, Daisy snapped. I mean, the only way the commander will know is if someone tells him, Winston said sternly. Okay, fine. Just be careful, okay? It's your head, Daisy sighed. Winston let out a cheer and walked up to the computer and started searching around Silver Hills for his new Power Ranger team. Deep in the forest, the foot soldiers known as the Removers, Silver and Gold Robots, knelt before Danzo. His new generals stood beside him. Sir! One of our scouts have been taken. Apparently this time the Silver Guardians were aided by a Red Time Force Ranger, one of the generals told him. So, Winston's finally here. Good. Time to take down this wretched place. Then we'll rule this time zone, allowing me to rule for several years.
Then, <laughs> time will be affected. I'd love to see how 3002 turns out, Danzo uh, said with a grin. He sat there with a smile upon his snout. The removers all scattered away and headed to Silver Hills, ready to take down the Red Time Force Ranger. This story is connected to Universe 19. You can find all the Universe 19 storylines on Power Rangers Universe 19. The podcast, which hosts the Power Rangers and Khan Rider storylines. There's also Marvel Universe 19, which is the exact same universe, but it has a YouTube channel for all those storylines. There's also several storylines belonging to Universe 19 across this t- channel. Tiger Tales Game Over and Tiger Tales The Lost Stories. So make sure you go find them and give them a listen. Now, on with the outro. Thank you everybody for listening to this video and checking out the stories. Of course, there are plenty more where that came from. I encourage you to check out the rest of this channel where you'll find more storylines for you to delve into. But there's even more than that. If you check out the description down below, you will find a whole array of different Tiger Tales channels. Each Tiger Tales channel is made for a specific purpose and hosts a whole array of different types of storylines. So, I encourage you to check out the other Tiger Tales channels and delve into a massive amount of storytelling by myself and the Tiger Tales partners. If you have enjoyed yourself today, then please subscribe to the channel as it does show your support. Now, of course, the whole reason why I'm doing this is because I'm passionate about story writing and storytelling. And, of course, you should dive into what you are passionate about as well. So, I shall end this video with... Roll with passion. That before we can... (laughs) Don't touch my Pringles. (laughs) Bye!